So I've been busy with the whole, I'm trying to use words like stuff and things less. So anyway, I've been busy with a whole bunch of matters or activities or whatever you want to say. And one of those matters includes dealing with a Facebook error that's, for one thing, I've learned and I'm not alone in the Facebook error, thank goodness. Number two, I've learned that when there are small things like this and even, of course, the bigger things, I have learned that a lot of times these things are simply about testing. Again, the smaller things, such as this Facebook thing, to, of course, the bigger things in life. And someone said when she was talking about the Facebook thing, there we go again, using that word thing. This one person joked about having a life before Facebook. She said, and the thing that we actually had a life before FB, and of course, um, she must have been able to log back in, or, you know, she was able to. Anyway, you know, the point being, I mean, it does make you reflect just how, you know, as a society we become, and, you know, where we've invested our lives, and things along those lines. Though for many of us, too, it's the only way that we can stay afloat, of course, besides God and all that, and many of us do use the social media that we have in order to try to live out our lives or try to reflect our lives in terms of how we live them for God and how we live them in light of others, etc. And so, of course, the Facebook error is frustrating, and to know that I'm not alone in terms of having the Facebook error is good, and also to know that I have people praying for me even in the smallest of matters and as I said I think that matters like this are reminders that we just have to turn to God and even in the things that we don't even think about that we would have to you know turn to God concerning and so I mean what else can I say and it's like my French teacher in high school said that you know even in the smallest of matters God's going to somehow be involved, whether or not you think about it or whether or not you like it. And so there's that, by the way, God willing, and I always say this on Twitter because you never know, that means what the help or what the will of God. I'm going to be doing a video on the whole Laquan McDonald controversy and Needless to say, I've never been so bombarded on Twitter and so bombarded by text messages with Twitter notifications. And not only that, I've the amount of bullying I got over that one. Well, you can pretty much guess what happened. So, as I said, though, on Monday, well, okay, on tomorrow, and as I said, God willing, I'll be doing... A video about the Laquan McDonald thing and you know the other side of it which people don't hear and of course which people like me have to take the risk of facing bullying for and by the way there's also another grammar correction I gotta stop using propositions at the end of the sentence propositions propositions um there you go and um you also get an example of what an ADD clutter mind looks like. So there's all that.